Sharapova. Nice to see you. So uh, you flew in from Columbia when? Uh, the night before last. The night before last. Nice to see you. Thank you for being yeah. here. Thanks for flying in. And uh, are you jet lagged? Yes. <laughs> you, were, you were playing. I was playing. I was playing an exhibition match. My yeah. first match in a few months. So that was a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and you're back to feeling okay I'm with your shoulder really injury? Good. Yeah. yeah. The season starts in first of January for me in Brisbane. So. How does that work? Don't you, if, as an athlete, when you're changing time zones and you're like flying all over the world, how many days do you have to get there ahead to, to not have jet lag playing a match? Well, when you're going to Australia, it takes quite a bit of time. So I'll be there about five days before I play my first round. So I'll actually be missing Christmas this year, unfortunately. Oh. I know. Well. <laughs> Cry me a river. You can, uh, yeah. <laughs> thing being in Australia, yeah. It's no, so beautiful there, but yeah, I, I experienced the same thing. It, it took me two yeah. weeks to get over the jet lag. Yeah, it's it's not easy. The first yeah. two nights are like, you got to make sure you have a lot of reading material. Yeah. yeah but as an athlete, I think that would be really the hardest thing, traveling around and, and playing at that it maximum is. level of, you know, like exerting all of your energy and then you're yeah. exhausted. Well, the problem is there's no secret. Everyone always asks, like, how do you get through the jet lag? And really, there's no, I wish there was something good. Like the eye patch, can we invent something that's similar? to that because it would sell really well for jet lag. Yeah. To, to look like you're awake, you mean? Well, yeah. <laughs> we, we sell I those know. in the Ellen shop. We have eye masks that look like you're awake so that... Uh, I need to visit that shop. All right. I will give you some. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, now, so the injury was what kind of shoulder? What happened to you? Um, just overuse. I played a lot in the summer. I played many matches and um, I needed to shut it down for a while. So mm -hmm. unfortunately, not, not as serious as my injury many years ago, but... So maybe the shrieking is be, uh, you okay? <laughs> Oopsies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're fine. They were probably yeah. wearing the eye patch. <laughs> yeah, that's, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> if it's not put on correctly, that can happen to yeah. you. <laughs> so, so when you're when you're hitting the ball and shrieking, maybe you just have been in pain all these years. Probably. That's that's what it is. Yes, yeah, so yeah. I needed to. Now, uh, and and does that uh, when you you've, you've been doing that since you were like when you first started playing, right? Yeah, I was four when I started. Yeah, and but and you and you you. It was probably not as loud then. I've had a lot of many years <laughs> of practice since right. then, so I think it gets louder. Right. And um, and when when you when you hit the ball and you do that, it, it really helps you. Just it's just like releasing the energy, right? It's just. I'm not sure what it does. No. Yeah, I don't know. I still till this day don't really know. But what happens if you don't do it? Uh, I don't. Probably nothing. It would oh, be the same. Oh, I was like, who's streaking now? That's you. <laughs> That's. But if, you, but if can you try to not do it, and does it affect your game? Um, I've never actually tried. No, because once you start playing, you just yeah. go into this like automatic right. rhythm. So you don't even know you're doing it. No. Yeah. No. Well, it's uh, whatever you're doing, it, just keep doing it because okay. it's, it's working. And you're here because you have, you know, a lot of people have fragrances and they have clothing lines, they I have know. things, and you have candy. This that, is a pretty <laughs> random one. Yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> And they all have different yes. names. This have, one, yes, we have quirky and flirty, and the tennis gumballs are sporty, and, and spotty, yes, and, and flashy. Spotty? Where'd you find spotty? I don't, uh, sporty. Oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. I, like that. I wasn't looking correctly. Hold on one second. <laughs> oh yes, it's yes. spotty. <laughs> And splashy, yeah. yeah. So, so they're like the Spice I... Girls of candy. They they have all these little uh, splashy Names. and that's sassy right. and, yeah. and and how did uh, you decide to? You must love candy. I do. I've had a sweet tooth since I was a, a little girl, and I moved to the United States when I was uh, about seven years old. And I remember going to the movie theater and seeing all the selections of gummy candy, and I was like, I have never seen anything like this in Russia. So um, I thought about three years ago, the name, the silly name of Sugar Pova came about in a meeting, and then I thought we'd put those two together and start a business because I always really wanted to to start my own business and Candy, and where is it? It's, it's it. doing very well, right? It is, yeah. It's sold on sugarpova.com and it's in many retailers around the world, Colette in Paris, the Henry Bendels and It Sugar. Um, so many wow. places. Wow. I'm can I take this stuff home to Portia? She will yes, love this stuff. She's a huge candy lover. And especially gummy bear stuff like that. Yeah, so it's, that will it's be all, that's what it is. That's fantastic. Yeah. So today I learned you're into you are into Christmas, but big into Christmas, you're we gonna miss Christmas. it this year. Yes. So we want to give you a Christmas present so when oh, you're no. in Australia, you can still I'm play scared. and enjoy <laughs> Christmas.
this, I think this is an extra small. I think it's kind of small. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's I a don't, little tiny. That's not gonna fit yeah. my bottom. All right, well, <laughs> we just wore to it show might it. Might my dog, but. Yeah. <laughs> no, this, I'm gonna give this to my niece. I just wanted to show it to you. And, uh, <laughs> You're taking my no, gift No, away. we'll give it to you. I didn't yeah. know it was that small. We'll, no, we'll make I, sure it fits you. And we're going to give um, you... The Nike designer will be very jealous. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, so we're going to... Uh, you can go to our website to find out where you can purchase... Uh, it's called Sugar Pova Candy. And uh, when we come back, we're going to hit a couple of balls together. Yes, we'll, we'll be back. <laughs> Y'all know this, but I was on my tennis uh, team in high school, and here's proof of my amazing form. <laughs> uh, I thought it'd be fun to challenge Maria to a tennis game. It's time to play aces, aces, let's break some faces. <laughs> You're gonna hit my face. I'm gonna hit your face. Uh, okay. We don't want to hit our, our own faces. We're okay. not. Any, it's rude to even hit the other person's face, but that's how we <laughs> are here. So um, who's starting? Am I starting? Um, you can start. Yes. Okay. Uh, get further away. You're cheating. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're too good. You should. This is so easy for okay, you. Okay, but my back uh, swings a little. Bigger oh, okay. Than, okay. So let's uh, move it out of the way. to okay. Keep the balls out of the way. So I go first. You go first. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Determined to get one up. Keep going. And okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm not doing so well. You're hit. Okay. Oh. All right. Jeez. All right. Now hit as hard as you can. Okay. All right. Come on. Okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> right. I just missed that. All right. Well. Uh oh. Uh. Andy. I can't, I can't hear you. Well, do you have a... <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you all right? 